So, Metal Gear Solid 4 is now considered playable from start to finish on RPCS3 and in this video we are going to be taking a look at just that. Now, the playability of this game, or at least improved compatibility, has been possible and available for use for quite a while now, probably about two or three weeks I'd say, but before I made this video on the actual playability from start to finish, I wanted to personally finish the game myself, and having done so just last night, I can indeed confirm that this game is fully playable on this custom version of RPCS3. Now usually I don't make videos using custom builds, there are some special circumstances though, for example big games that everyone loves like Metal Gear 4 are always going to be included in videos like this and if there are any custom builds for any other games that I just absolutely adore myself I will always cover them so that you guys can use them and get the best compatibility out of some of the best games for your older consoles through emulation. A little bit over a month ago I made a video when Metal Gear Solid 4 started booting for the first time on RPCS3 and rendering any graphics. In that video I had a very very good performance, however in these custom versions performance has been dramatically increased. On top of that there are also tons and tons of graphical bug fixes, however it's the performance that is definitely a standout over builds you may have used in the past. The performance numbers which you can see in the top right hand corner are achieved using a Ryzen 7 3700X clocked at 4.2GHz, an Nvidia GTX 1080 Ti and as you can see it is very very respectable in this very action oriented scene we are staying anywhere between around 40 and 60 frames per second. Now I'm not going to say that it's going to run at this performance level for everyone but if you use the recommended settings and the config files that come with this custom build you are going to have really really great playability and performance levels for this title. As I mentioned previously there are a whole host of graphical fixes in this build also. This includes things like flickering textures, broken LODs, broken shadows, dark shadows, shadow flickering, the list goes on and on. Graphically, Metal Gear 4 looks absolutely stunning on these custom versions, especially so when you run it at resolutions at or higher than 4K just like I'm demonstrating in this video. Now you can get slightly better performance by running at 1080p or 1440p, but since the difference for me personally was only 1 or 2 frames per second area dependent, I decided to just leave it at 4K for the much better image quality. But man, check out how the game is looking and running, it's pretty damn crazy to consider that not even 2 or 3 months ago this game wasn't even booting on this emulator and was absolutely nowhere near playable. Most of us, including myself, thought that this game may never be properly emulated, but just look at it now, running at 4K resolution on RPCS3. Now, I want to note that while you can play the game from start to finish, and many of the crashes and graphical issues have been solved, not all of the crashing problems are completely fixed. Two of the most prominent issues you're going to run into are memory access violation crashes and RSX crashes, but to be honest, in my entire playthrough of this game on both of my systems, one containing an 8700K and the other containing a 3700X, I got I'd say under 10 crashes in my entire playthrough of this title. Anything you need for this custom build will be found down in the description of this video. This will include the builds, the latest firmware that you're going to need to install on it and if you need any help in respect to anything or getting this game set up and running please don't be afraid to leave a comment down below or head on over to my discord and ask any questions over there. Before I go I want to give a massive thank you to the creator of this custom RPC S3 version. This dude has put a ton of work into getting these graphical issues fixed and debugged as well as getting the game up and running and performing as well as it is on top of answering all of my stupid questions over the last few weeks. So to Raiko, I want to give a massive, massive thank you for your contribution. A massive thank you must also be given to the developers of RPCS3. Without your continued work, none of this would be possible at all.
to show you just how well this game is running on this version of RPCS3, I'm going to leave you with one of my very favourite cutscenes and indeed sections from Metal Gear Solid 4. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button and bell icon if you want to see more videos just like this. Once again guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Get out of here! Can you move? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Here they come! Sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Thank you.
<laughs> Yet again our paths cross. Finish me.
us. She got away. Are you sure about this? It's all part of the plan. The test was a failure, even with his code. As I feared, it's not pure enough. We need all of him. The PMCs we deployed have suffered brain damage. Nothing salvageable remains. Our only remaining option is to secure the original. I know that. It's only a matter of time. We're working as fast as we can to find their hiding place. I need you here too.